everyone, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. I have two projects to do for this December Daily and so far they are probably my favorite pages. It is for 11 and 12. I decided to make a CD that you can open for the Evermore album that Taylor Swift just came out with and I just, I love it. I'm so excited with how it came together. So that's a little sneak peek and you will see how it came together. I'm also going to throw together this kind of filler page because I wanted 12 to start here. So this one is just my cute cats cuddling and it was also on day 11 so it worked out perfect. Day 12 we decided to go look at some lights. It's a safe activity to do so we went in our car and looked at some lights. And then we turn the page and this is a giant pirate ship and it took me forever to put together but I'm so thrilled with how it came together and then I have a pocket page so you're gonna see all of this come together in this video and I hope you enjoy I'm gonna switch over to voiceover all right so to make the CD shape I just layered on several circles in Photoshop elements and did the print and cut type of uh, setting with my silhouette so I printed it out of my printer and then I cut it with my silhouette and I even did some record scratches. I then um, took screenshots of her album cover and then like the inside with the songs and I am matting those on craft paper that I had. I thought that that matched perfectly with the color scheme. I'm going to leave a little bit of a lip on the front cover so that way I can uh, bend it and leave it open and that way it flaps open to look like a CD which I bought a ton of those ton of CDs when I was growing up as a teenager and now they're pretty much obsolete right I think so um okay so I put the CD on some craft paper as well and now I'm going to put that flap underneath the CD and then that way you can like I said open it up so I'm just getting ready to glue down the cover to the actual paper and then also the record to the actual white paper. And then I will add a gold star and also 11 since it was day 11 and I was trying to figure out what number I would use and I eventually went with just some simple stickers. I had these gold uh, letter stickers from Allie Edwards and I was trying to spell Evermore and as you can see I spelled it wrong. I will have to say my excuse is that my daughter was talking to me and asking for my attention and I just my attention was pulled somewhere else. So I eventually did fix it and I even used an F for my third E since I needed that um, but I'm still overall I love how this came together. I added um, also in my stash, I found some puffy sticker gold leaves and branches. So I used those to frame the CD and I also used a gold glittery, to me it's a little glittery star um, as my opening flap. And then that one is done. Okay, and like I said, the back is a filler page. It's my cats cuddling under the tree. They were behaving with the tree. So I of course had to take a picture. I used a bunch of odds and ends on this page just so I could use it my stash. I had several vellum uh, shapes that I wanted to use up around the house, um, the two stars, and then I also wanted to try the fabric pieces. I'm not sure what they are, but they were the cozy and the tree, and I wanted to try those out. It's kind of a theme I'm doing this year. I want to try the products, even if I'm unsure of it. I also cut out a foil title from my silhouette that says together. I got out the ups and downs stamp set and I'm stamping um, current awesome stuff and then finding the joy I think. The finding the joy in every day or something like that. And then adding some hearts and I will be nearly done with that page. So a simple page and then I will move on to the epic 12. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I posted on Instagram that I felt like my friend Lisa Freckle Pickle, who always does beautiful photo enlargements, and I was just channeling my inner Lisa to get this right. I decided to take the photos and back them on cardstock because when I opened the pirate ship photo in Photoshop Elements, it was not going to go across 
the entire length of two pages. So I am going to put a border of some Star Galaxy paper, um, constellations, I guess, on the left and the right. You can see that here. I took the photo and I printed it and now I'm going to put it down. I also left a little white space at the bottom because you really don't want to blow up the photo any larger than it needs to be. You don't want to try to force it to be um, as big as the canvas. And I also wanted to capture the entire ship. So it was okay that I had to go smaller and have the white borders. I had to reprint this section right here because somehow, um, I don't know if you could tell, but there was two ships printed on one photo of the original. So I had to print a second and lay that over the top. So this piece right here that I have trimmed is a little bit bigger so that way I can cover up that boo-boo. I am cutting out that double photo edge right now with my X-Acto knife and then I will put down the uh, constellation paper. And I also cut off my white um, border a little bit, so I'm going to cover that up as well. So it got a little frustrating, a little wonky right here because I had, you know, the white border underneath and then a white border on top. And you could kind of see that, but you know, I'm still really proud of myself that I pulled this photo enlargement off. I used a bone folder right there to just kind of mark where I needed to trim on my um, trimmer and then I can put the paper in. And that was just a good way for me to not um, have to blow up the photo super huge and not get the whole ship in the picture. And like I said, the paper totally matched. I'm also punching my holes by hand because my A6 punch does not work very well and I wanted to make sure that I got the holes correctly so I used just a page protector and a pencil and then marked the holes and punched. Also cut out with my silhouette magic and twinkle um, for the this photo is magic and then the ship will have twinkle. I'm going to use some more of the circles. That's one thing that I bought with December my December daily purchase is those transparency circles I'm not sure if these bigger ones were in that set, but I wanted to make sure that I use these transparencies. I just, I wanted to use them and I am definitely using them this year. I had a bunch of photos that I wanted to include as well. So I decided why not make a two by two page protector. And um, since Allie Edwards page protectors tend to be a little bit smaller than two by two, I just trimmed off a little edge. You saw me do that. And I'm going to add in a bunch of the transparency circles. And I am not putting anything on the back of the transparency circles. I will later on for day 18, but for day 12, I decided I'm not going to. I'm just adding one journaling card for here's the story. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what we were doing, and so I don't need a lot. I'm going to add in some red um stars. I want to say starburst, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to add in some of those, just another um, texture, another dimension, dimensional type of piece. Got to make sure you get that plastic off. Oh my goodness, that plastic bugs me just because I have arthritis and it's hard to pinch it and then pull it off. But um, I am finagling it right now and I got it off and I staple first and then I adhere it down. And I was going to ask you guys, what do you adhere uh, down with your transparencies? What do you use? Um, and also your vellum. What do you use? Tell me. Let me know. <laughs> I am finishing up this 12 with a little uh, star and then I'm finished. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing 11 and 12 come to life. I have so enjoyed sharing them with you and I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Have a great day. Bye!